Good morning, beautiful people. I don't know if quarantine is getting to you, but it's getting to me. Oh, it's a lot. And this is the thing, even though I'm quarantined, I'm still working. You know, I'm a nurse. Life is a little bit rough right now in these streets, which are actually the insides of our houses. Um, so if you are going crazy or you need some help, some advice on getting to the next level when it comes to um, some food with this uh, quarantining and chilling, I am going to give you a recipe for my quarantine and chili. I hope you like it, okay? First, we're gonna start out with pot. It's gonna have to be very big, but I'm gonna make a batch that's not only for me, but also um, probably share with some friends. Um, and I, when I say share with some friends, I'm going to leave a package on the side of the street that they can pick up kind of like a, um, how do I say, like a, like a pickup drop off, but, um, not illegal if you know what I mean. Also going to have some spices and such and some beans, some stuff. We'll go through these. Um, I have two cans of kidney beans. I have a can of black beans. I just really love black beans. Um, good source of fiber, protein. Um, also chickpeas just to add a little bulk to it. Um, I have a can of diced tomatoes I know that cooked tomatoes are rich in lycopene, which is um, very healthy for you. I have corn I don't know if corn actually does anything. I Actually with some research corn is full of B vitamins as well as potassium I just love uh, the contrast of the sweet and spiciness and a little crunch um, I Also, this is my cheat. So I know a lot of people probably wouldn't think of this I thought of this maybe everybody thinks of this and maybe I'm just like tripping but salsa salsa is an easy way to get the flavors that you need plus to kind of spread your chili I know a lot of people might put like a tomato sauce or like the diced tomatoes but this already has the tomatoes you have peppers onions a lot of the seasonings that you want to get that nice chili flavor um, this is also um, just a little easy DIY um, for your meal prep you don't have to cook a full meal but I like to cut up um, my vegetables and um, some fruits depending on what's going on or freeze them before they go bad so I just happen to cut up some onions already I actually have some that are nice smaller that I'm gonna see if I can find but if I don't I will use these also another cheat I don't have chili mix but I have taco seasoning for me, basically the same thing. This one also low sodium because obviously we don't want the extra sodium to affect our blood pressure. But um, this has a lot of what you would need to get the taco seasoning flavor. So um, the salt, paprika, chili pepper, onion powder, um, and those spices. If you don't have one of these packets, which I still augment uh, my seasons and spices with a little garlic. Let me see. I thought I had onion powder. Onion powder is probably someplace, but... Uh, cayenne, uh, fresh sea salt um, that you can grind up, red peppers, cumin, we have some chili powder. I absolutely love this stuff. The Bedita Complete Seasoning is just a lot of flavor, um, you know, pepper, garlic, um, cilantro, um, just really good flavor and some crushed pepper. Um, I think that I also have cilantro, so I may add that, but for your basics, these are basic again you don't need all of this if you don't want it i might add it for flavor usually this is enough depending on how hot or how flavorful you want it um but these items you definitely will need these ones those optional but please do season your food so it tastes good so your friends will want it so we will start with our pot um, also, we're going to clean off the tops of our cans. I think people already do this, but especially because um, times are tough and we want to make sure that um, everything sanitized very well, we're going to just, I'm going to take the time to wash these lids off with a little bit of soap and water and open them up. All right, y'all, like I said, we're going to start with our pot. We are going to put it on medium heat. This is lit. All right. All right, we've opened our can. So we have a can of the crushed tomatoes. We are going to just pour that in. All right. Kidney beans, two cans. I keep the kidney beans in their juices for this. And then when we're done, we'll rinse these cans out and throw them in the recycle because we're trying to be eco-friendly. We have chickpeas. The chickpeas, um, I rinse. I prefer to not have the juice for that. I don't want it too runny, but I don't mind the kidney beans. Um, 
if I'm not mistaken, when I used to binge watch the Great British Baking Show, the uh, juice that's off the kidney bean, uh, not kidney beans, garbanzo beans, my apologies, um, can be used for like a vegan um, meringue. So fun fact, I've never made it, but I'm sure somebody else has. So um, if I'm wrong, dispute me. But if I'm right, really cool. Um, also black beans. I like to sift my black beans um, and rinse them off um, just because just preference. Get a little bit of that salt off of it. We'll throw this in the sink. And salsa, for me, I eyeball it. I'll probably use about half of this. And just pour that in. All right, that looks about halfway. And again, for our last ingredient, the corn, I've already used this for like another recipe. I think I only buy corn, to be honest, for to put in my guacamole, to put in my chili, and for tacos. So, um, I'm going to use a spoon, but I'm probably going to use at least a cup eyeballing. Okay. And I'm going to open this taco seasoning packet and throw that in too. So, we have the taco seasoning pack. And almost forgot our onions. I did find the smaller chopped set. I am probably put in almost all of this. Eh, we'll just throw it all in there. Can't hurt. Onions are good for you. And we're gonna get a little bit of our mixing on. And um, your preference, you can add chilies to this, you can add um uh, cilantro, which I still got to look for. Um, you can add jalapenos. You can, sometimes I like to add celery to it. I don't have any celery or else I would to give it an extra crunch. Um, and see, this is why I keep the juice of some of the um, beans just to make it a little bit runny so it's not completely beany. That is a word I just made up. But um, this is super simple. Um, all of those other seasonings and spices, again, you don't have to use them. I like a really flavorful chili. So I am gonna add some, at least of that bedita. Um, complete seasoning, a little chili powder, and a little bit of the cumin um, as extra in here. But um, if you don't care about seasonings and spices, you're probably good with just whatever was in the um, whatever was in the salsa and the taco mix. So we're gonna add a little bit in there. Cayenne pepper. I like a lot of spice. Also, you can add meat. I am pescatarian, so I don't necessarily care about. Um, have a meat in it, but meat, ground turkey, I recommend, um, or sometimes the meatless meats. I know that sounds uh, like an oxymoron, but I always recommend cook the meatless meat. Also, like chili powder, getting ahead of myself. Um, bake it up so it's like kind of tender or tough, cause they the plant base get really soft. Um, so bake it um, for whatever you're cooking it for. Like sometimes I'll use the meatless burgers and cook it up and chop it up, um, which I don't really feel like doing right now. But if I were to make this again, I might do that and uh, put it in there just to give it a meat feel. But um, I like vegetarian chili, healthy for you. Um, again, good source of protein, um, fiber, um, the tomatoes and peppers and the seasoning spices are also really healthy for you your immune health and GI tract gets everything a going this is cumin and a little red pepper um, I'm not gonna add salt to this until the end um, when I taste it because as it sits and settles the spices get to work and do their thing and 
then you can see how much salt you need because sometimes you we unnecessarily add salt and it might already have enough flavor with the seasoning that's already in it so that's pretty much it that's the chili we'll let it cook for a little bit um let all those spices um just kind of um be released the fragrance the flavor the je ne sais quoi i don't know what that means but it sounds real nice um also made some muffins <laughs> Probably put way too much butter on them, but gotta love some butter. And we're gonna make some basmati rice. So. Again, thank you for watching Quarantine and Chill. Lee, yeah, you know, <laughs> little playoff words, you know what I'm saying? A nerdy natural. It comes with the territory. So um, if you're feeling like making this, definitely make it. If you're feeling like adding meat, add meat. Um, I just happen to be pescatarian, like I mentioned, so um, I'm not necessarily um, looking to have meat in my food. Um, if you can think of any other additives that might be fun, flavorful, healthy, throw them out there. Love suggestions. Um, but also, I love this dish because, in all seriousness, um, it's really, it, it can be a healthy dish that's not super expensive. Cans of beans, you could do the dry beans or you could do the can like I did be really cheap because I know times are tough right now some people have been laid off some people are um, not working um, you know I think of some of our elderly um, in that they might not be able to get to the store um, they might be getting uh, checks but you know again don't have the resources in the means so this is something that's easy that you could make for a neighbor make for a friend make you know double a batch up put in a couple containers that you're not worried about having back and just you know leaving calling them up and say hey I made you something and leaving it on their doorstep um, so we if we can work together to look out for each other um to do even simple small things i know a lot of people are like oh you're a frontline worker everyone's on the front line right now um doing this and protecting each other and protecting themselves so um i think if you needed ideas this is an easy way to do your part to help out while we are quarantining so thank you for listening i hope you have a wonderful day peace and blessings this is lex the nerdy natural